Welcome back to the channel. Let's make a quinoa power bowl. Let's cook. Let's see. Everybody repeat. It's Vittles time. All right, you're going to add one teaspoon of salt, two eggs. You're going to boil those from for anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes on high heat. Your stove determines how fast they cook. You're going to add a cup and a half of quinoa. And that actually will serve two people. Honestly, it will. All right, you're going to get this stirred in uh, really nicely. Please do not add any seasoning to this. This is the one dish on this channel that you will find that we don't add a whole lot of seasoning to at all. We're going to use some better than bouillon. I'm going to use the chicken flavor kind. And we're going to use, uh, I say, half a tablespoon. Uh, you only see me add a small amount because I had already added um a little bit before that but i forgot to record so it is what it is so half a tablespoon honey and if that's not to your liking and your taste buds then add just a tiny bit more but you don't need a whole lot of that i promise you you do not all right the next step we're going to start to bowl sometimes you say plate <laughs> we're gonna bowl um and meanwhile we're gonna cut the egg please hit the like the share the subscribe tell your mama them your daddy them your auntie them your cousin them we always cooking something over here on bow raised cajun cuisine youtube channel always cooking something but i appreciate you for following and subscribing and commenting i love when y'all come in because i love talking back i love the interaction all right we're gonna get our egg in there I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and a lovely, lovely, lovely weekend. Today is a may an amazing day. It really is. I give God all the glory and the praise. Thank you, angels. Thank you, heaven. We're going to use half a tablespoon of butter, right? So one pat of butter is one tablespoon. Cut it in half. You're going to use half of that. You're going to add in a handful of spinach. Uh, I will say two to three cups. It's up to you however much spinach you want in your bowl. You do you. Uh, it cooks down to a little bit of nothing, right? So this process, all we did was wilt it. We did not want to cook it, overcook it, uh, and it losing its uh, power, <laughs> its nutrients. So we just wilt it just a little bit in that small amount of butter. If you don't want to use butter, you could use olive oil but butter make everything better at least that's what i think ah, you know what i'm saying anyway get that in there make it pretty because you know you gotta go on a photo shoot it is what it is there you go girl make it pretty make it pretty all right we're gonna add in some avocado we have not gotten to that part but we're gonna get there there you go we're gonna add in some avocado and this is the way I like to just cut it, slice it just like this. So all I need to do is use a spoon to scoop it out to make it pretty, as you can see. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the person that's watching right now. If they made it to this part, I want to say thank you for them. I want to ask that you cleanse them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet and fill them with your Holy Spirit, your anointed power, your love, and your abundance of protection, wealth, health, and life. Positive wealth, health, and life. All right, we're going to add a little mango because... I can because I got some. And the sweet tastes really good in here. You can skip it if you want. If you don't have a mango, don't worry about it, baby. Use some pineapple or something like that. If you don't have any of apple, it's up to you if you want a little sweet in there. For me, mango was the way to go. It's your power bowl. You make it how you want it, right? Because it's your power bowl. You do you while I'm doing me. The lime, when you squeeze that lime over it, it sets it off. I promise you, it sets it all the way off. I use, I like to use cracked black pepper, not just the regular ground pepper. I like to use the cracked black pepper and just sprinkle just a little bit of salt over it. That's it. And it's ready. It's, it's There you go. A complete meal without any meat. If you wanted to add meat, you could, add, you could do... Uh, 
chicken, fish. It's up to you. But this, I ate this without all the extra. So, if you made it this far, oh yeah, we're going to add a little spice on there. That's a little guacamole avocado sauce I add. You can find that at Walmart, uh, probably like less than $2. Anyway, if you're on social media, which you are because you're watching this freaking YouTube video, please follow me on all forms of social media. There's my information right there. I love you. Check you later.